By itself, a single pine cone is not really a big deal, but when it's springtime and you're cutting your lawn, whether or not you can suck these into the bag is a really good indicator of your lawn mower's performance. So that got me thinking because I wanted to do a test that really put it to the extreme. So I went ahead and gathered about 400 pine cones and I wanted to lay them out and see what would happen if I tried to mow them all up at once. And if you don't have pine cones where you live, they're really tough and they're also covered with sap. Now for this test, I wanted to spread them out so that I had a chance at running them over with the machine in a single pass. And for the test, I'm using a Toro lawnmower that's called the Super Recycler. It's supposed to have very good suction, but we'll see how it does. When I started seeing that smoke, I was getting kind of nervous because I actually thought it might be a belt on the machine. But what I realized is that it's actually pollen from the pine cones themselves. Now this is the same pass from above, and you can see that most of the machine was doing fine, but it was struggling to get on top of the pine cones. Now a lot of the pine cones got pushed out of the way, so I did make that second pass in the middle just to give the machine a real chance. But on the sides here, I went through the pine cones, and it did just fine. In fact, if you look close, you can see a lot of them are actually getting drawn up into the machine. So all in all, so far, this thing was performing really well. Now you might be thinking there's a lot of junk there on the ground, and you're right, but considering how much stuff was there to begin with, I'm pretty pleased that this is how it looked like in the end, but I decided to go back a few more times to make sure that the machine could suck up what was left. Now in a real life situation, this is gonna be the kind of thing you'll be facing when you're doing like a spring cleanup, or maybe you've dethatched your lawn and you have a huge amount of material. But either way, so far this machine was doing really well, now I wanted to try another test, so I grabbed a couple of buckets of shredded leaves. Now the reason I'm using shredded ones is they're a lot smaller than whole leaves, which means they're going to be harder for the machine to pick up. The other thing is that bag is still filled with all of those pine cones, so I definitely don't have the same suction ability I would if the bag had been empty. As I went over them at first, I thought it was doing a really good job because the machine seemed to bog down a little, but for the most part, the leaves were being picked up. But I think the biggest problem here was that the bag was already almost full. But I still went through and made the passes, and I sucked up most of the leaves. But when I was done, I took another look, and there really were quite a few bits left. But they are shredded, so they're very small and probably going to be more difficult to pick up. So I decided to see if I could make a few more passes and pull them up. And after doing a few of these, it did actually clean everything up. And again, I've still not emptied that bag. And if you take a closer look, that bag looks like it's ready to have a baby because this thing is stuffed with everything. The leaves, the pine cones, and I've not emptied it at all. Now, I'm most interested to see what the clippings look like. I want to see what the leaves are like and also the pine cones because it is pretty amazing that all of those pine cones and the leaves are in this single bag. And as I start to look at the pile, you can see the remnants. This thing did a really good job cutting up the pine cones. In fact, there's really very few bits left. But in real life situations, this means that with this type of a machine, you should be able to do a really good yard cleanup. And in fact, I was very impressed by this Toro because I really didn't think it was going to work at all. In fact, I almost thought the machine was going to be ruined. And one last thing I wanted to check was underneath to see how dirty the machine was or if there was any kind of buildup. I didn't see anything big and it looked pretty good to me. So this machine really passed the test as far as suction power was concerned. Now this was more of a fun video because when I thought of this test, I didn't even think any lawnmower would be able to do it. This is the very first time I've tried this and I plan to do it with other brand machines as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, got you to see something different that you might be able to consider for the future if you're doing a yard cleanup. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.